members ask me how best to efficiently and quickly achieve success, and I get this question a lot. The way I see it, instead of how quickly to best achieve success, it's better to understand precisely that it's a miracle that you could ever not achieve it. That's a hundred, no, a thousand times more important. Hello, I'm the man with a past. Imperial Master Duck Wu Li here greeting you. The first reason as to why it's a tragedy if you don't succeed is the absolute quality, absolute price. If it's as good as the sky and as cheap as dirt, consumers will keep coming back. And after many repurchases, people will like our product and then decide to become members. In other words, for the past 17 years, I have run five businesses as I dedicated myself to my work. But in the end, I still ended up ruining my credit and living inside a greenhouse while using my son's car as a deposit for a loan that racked up penalty fees and property taxes for a decade. I even borrowed my son's university tuition and couldn't pay it back, which prevented his graduation and became a morally bankrupt father. It's not that I didn't work hard for it, or didn't want it that badly, or wasn't patient enough. Those products I sold did not lead to repurchases, and that was what led to my businesses failing in the end. They are currently registered with the Fair Trade Commission as Network Marketing, 130 businesses in Korea, but there are only a rare few that have succeeded. Buying good products at high cost to generate income is, in the end, a losing game because it's too expensive to generate an income. To be fashionable and look good, you've got to button your shirt correctly. But if you fail from the first button, 10 years, 17 years, the results will never change at all. When I first came across Atomy, it only had two products and there were no catalogs or homepage. I went to the main office and there was no signage. When I saw the company name on a makeshift A4 piece of paper, I wasn't just disappointed, I was just thoroughly in shock and awe. But then, if I hadn't visited the Colmar factory for six years, then I would never probably even start Atomy. If Company H sells some basic cosmetic for 100,000 won, and Atomy sells it for 15,000 won, and they sold a BB cream for 48,000 won, which at Atomy was 7.6 thousand won, that's when I became certain. I became confident that I could succeed with just these two basic cosmetics. So I turned in my resignation without looking back and decided to run an Atomy business. When you go to the company webpage, there are Diamond Masters, Sharon Masters, Star Masters, and Royal Masters, as well as Imperial Masters, their success speeches, and 99% of all of those speeches say the same thing. I never in my dreams imagined I'd be doing network marketing. But then I tried the cosmetics, I tried the toothpaste, and I took the Hemohim and was taken aback, and it got me to start my business. In the end, it was the product that created a successful business. And so if any of you out there might think that your business isn't doing well or can't seem to find more members, do I have passion for the product? Or have I been convinced by the product but not spoken about it enough? If you ask these questions, you'll find answers. The second reason why it's a tragedy if you fail is there's no registration or monthly fees to worry about. Way back in the beginning, when I first heard about Atomy, I just figured that in the history of Korea's network marketing, We've got ourselves a con artist. I had no interest in the seminar when I went. On the first day, the goals of management, hub of logistics, and after balanced life, I just wanted to go home right away. I'm truly not credible. If my sponsor had just taken me home then and there, then it meant I would have been finished with Atomy for good. So the next morning, I was listening to a talk, and they were better than me at network marketing, having been in it for 17 years. And so I went to the chairman. What network marketing company were you in? And then we kept talking and basically he said, I'm from Guachan. I have delinquent credit and live in a rental for 500,000 won a month. And when he said this, something inside my chest was just surging with passion because so many tens of thousands of CEOs worldwide were wealthy and many have succeeded with network marketing so as to take over entire companies. Those businessmen typically establish a registration fee or monthly fee to make their income stable. But for a credit delinquent to do away with registration and monthly fees? If this were to be true, then it means there's no way the price points would ever go up. Or having no need for registration or usage fees is a testament to his confidence. I became sure that I'd succeed if I could dedicate myself to this no registration fees, no revenue. 
No monthly fees, no revenue. Our company in a way, because there's no registration or monthly fees, we're going all in on the absolute quality, absolute price philosophy. We're going to let the consumers decide for themselves. So what the CEO has said is that it took roughly five years for there to be a company sign, and he endured those long years. When we first register our members, sometimes it's hard to get their signature when it's free of charge. Why? Because it feels like a social taboo. And then you have to buy a million or two million wands worth of products to register. Some might do it. But will it truly lead to unlimited leveling and unlimited accumulation? Recently, there's this member that used to work for Company S, and they said the monthly fee was 100,000 won, and that the work was hard too. It takes money to run a business, but it doesn't end there, because those expenses become easily over a million or two million won when you gain 10 or 20 partners. So without a registration fee or monthly maintenance fee, there really is a possibility for unlimited leveling and accumulation. In reality, if we can reach unlimited levels and accumulation, then sooner or later, whether we want to or not, we'll come across someone better than we are. Better speaker than me. Better seller than me. Better connections than me. Better experience in network marketing. Person with good character. These are just a few. But because we don't have any registration fees, then a member's achievements are easily, immediately acknowledged. And that's what I mean when I say it's a tragedy if you can't succeed. When we get together in groups, I tell people to greet the person beside them and say, why is not succeeding a tragedy? And take the time to find out for a bit. In Zoom meetings, I ask Sharon Masters and even Star Masters. Nobody seems to know for certain. So then, what are we explaining and talking about on the field? When you first talk about this business to someone, by focusing on the why and not the how, and having the other person fully understand it, it awakens the belief of unlimited expansion within them. But if you can't explain the why effectively, then what type of business would that be? If I were to have only 1% talent and look at it from an unlimited level perspective, 1% talent, 100 people, 100% possible. But to achieve unlimited levels, there can't be any registration or monthly usage fees. Let's be absolutely clear on that. Let's keep reminding them and continue expanding. One of my favorite sayings comes from CM Bristle's book called Faith's Allure. It says the allure of faith is that things come true. If you hold on to the faith that it's a tragedy not to succeed with Atomy, it will become true and help all of you become Imperial Masters someday. Atomy is a tragedy if you don't succeed.